Hi, I'm Charlie Binks. I'm from Red Beach. I'm interested in Korean brick and block fame, so I came here. Charlie's spending a couple of days with Humphrey Brick and Block, a company owned and run by Aaron Humphrey. Good to see you got your steel cap boots on. Yep. And uh, here's your high-vis shirt. Put that on and we can get started. Sweet, thank you. We currently have around 20 guys working for the company. We do all types of work. We do um, residential brickwork, residential block work, and we also do commercial block work. Right, Charlie, this is Mike. He's going to run you through some Hello, things Charlie. and see what's involved in this tree and yep. get into it. Let's go and check out some of the bricklaying tools. Okay, this is our spirit level. Yep. It's a really important tool for bricklaying. Trails come in lots of different shapes and sizes. Today's brickwork is raked out. This is a raker and you will be using a cordless drill to put in your wall tires. With Mike's tour of the tools complete, it was time for Charlie to start work. Bricklaying apprentice Tyrone showed him how to mix some mortar. It's two buckets of sand. Nice, soft, hard. And now that goes in the mixer. One bucket of cement. Sweet. And then two more buckets of sand. The mortar is the bond that holds the bricks together. So with the mortar mixed, it was time to lay some bricks, with a little help from Mike. What you've got to do is you've got to line it up. So if you look down that line, you want to line it up with that one and the one below. You don't want to be too far back and you don't want to be too far forward, okay? That's it. Yeah. See. A blind man would love to see it, Charlie. <laughs> Wall ties attach to the framework, yeah. and they tie the brickwork to the framework. Well, to give you an idea on how much the work's increased, a few years ago we were doing around 80 houses a year. Now we're doing over 150 per year. Uh, currently we have two apprentices and they are extremely important to the industry, bringing up young guys up into the trade. So Tyrone, how long have you been apprentice for Aaron's company? Uh, it's been about two months, two and a half months now. How long does your apprenticeship take? It takes about four years. So what's the best part of the job? The end's the best. You get to see what you've done, what you've accomplished with your two hands, which is pretty yeah. awesome. So what's your ambition? Hopefully i uh, become the best layer that I can and hopefully I own my own company one day, like Aaron. Well, I come on site to see the boys and we are taking him through the qualification, see what he's been doing, see if he's done any book work, written book work, and I ask him to take me through what he's been doing. By the time he's done his uh, probably three and a half, four years, he'll come out with a level four qualification in brick and block lane. They can go anywhere they like around the world. It's a great trade. Okay, Charlie, we've done really well. We've laid three courses. Yep. The mortar's getting nice and firm, and they're ready to rake out. The mortar is raked out to 10 millimetres in order to give the walls an attractive finish. Well done, Charlie. Your first brick wall. Congratulations. All apprentices get automatic membership of the Brick and Block Layer Federation. Um, yep, so our role is to basically keep our members informed about any changes and um, because they're continual in our industry um, with the legislation, we just basically make sure that they know about everything that's happening. Um, we also obviously make sure that training is occurring. Um, a lot of our members are licensed building practitioners and so they need to um, basically continue their training, keep their licence and we just basically make sure they get the right training for it. In order to show Charlie the range of bricks and mortar finishes available, Aaron took Charlie to Midland Brick in Albany, where there are numerous displays to help architects, designers, builders and the general public decide on how they would like their finished house to look. This is called a page finish. The mortar is proud of the brick. We have a rolled finish. The joints are nice and half round. We have a, just a standard flush finish. We use a sponge and get nice and flat. We have the rake finish, like you did with Mike. Yeah. And up here we have a soldier course on a brick lintel, usually for windows or doors. And this, Charlie, is a sill brick. You see we lay the sills that go under the windows? Yeah. Lay them on the edge and tuck up under the window. Aaron and his team use a huge range of bricks and mortar finishes, 
Good examples being at some recently completed work at New Zealand's largest subdivision being built at Millwater, 40 minutes north of Auckland. They're two storey brickwork and there's also stone over the windows and lintels and different coloured waters as well. We also do a lot of painted brick houses where the customers like to paint the brick. Um, they still like to do the brickwork to get the cavity system, which is nice and dry. Right Charlie, this is the masonry side of Brick and Block Lane, where we go on mason blocks. Yep. These are normally used for sort of commercial block work or for holding up walls or reinforcing. Yep. This here we have a, um, a stack bond masonry wall where the blocks are laid on top of each other, as opposed to the over there we have the stretcher bond where they're sort of they're halfway in between each other. Yep. Once they've got concrete in them, they're the same strength. We come over here and we'll get you to lay a block. So get your trowel. You move it on there, get it nice and flat. Tap it on the edge of the mudboard. That's it. We're going to spread the bed, put the toe down and come down. So you've still got a little bit left on the other side. To finish off. A bit more of an angle. That's it. Right. So butter a block. And give it a nice little squeeze down like that. Get the block. So we're going to do stretcher bond. So we're going to do half bond. So this block needs to go halfway in between each one. Yeah. So you lay it down nice and gentle, as little as you can. Come into the block. Place it down gently and evenly. Squeeze it in. So you squeeze that joint. And watching your watching your ends. That's it. Nice. There she goes. Sweet. Yeah, Charlie's done really well today. He's learned all the ins and outs of brick laying and block laying. And I think he might have a good future in the uh, industry. It's been a couple of good days, brick and block lane. I've learned a lot of skills and a lot of nice people. Nice back to work. The BCITO manages brick and block laying apprenticeships, which typically takes three to four years to complete. You'll work under an experienced brick and block layer who will provide on the job coaching and support throughout your apprenticeship. The BCITO offers ongoing guidance throughout your apprenticeship with regular on-site visits by a BCITO training advisor. Your skills are assessed on the job and through off-job training. You'll earn while you learn. Brick and block laying skills can be used worldwide.